Ask a couple questions, Coach. Or fire okay, is away. That okay. Go ahead. Okay, Coach. Your uh, your thoughts on today? I have a lot of emotion out there. Uh, I thought it stunk. Uh, we didn't practice very well. A lot of mistakes, missed tackles, balls on the ground. Um, I mean, I I don't even know where to start. Guys misaligned, delay game penalties. Just wasn't very good. And uh, they, you know, they're, I'm sure we'll find some good things, but collectively not the improvement that I hoped for from a week ago. Well, what are you hoping to bridge the gap here in this final week? Coaching. I got to do a better job. I got to get our coaches to, to do a better job of getting our guys prepared uh, so that we don't make those fundamental errors and that we're playing with great effort, which we didn't all day today. So, uh, you know, there's just there's a lot of things, and it's my responsibility. And the defense, uh, they came up with some big plays. I know. You, how did you feel about that unit? They made some plays, uh, made, got some interceptions, which was positive. Um, as I said, we missed a lot of tackles on defense. We got to do a better job of that fundamentally, and we'll, we'll emphasize that this week. And, uh, but it's good to see those guys make some plays. Uh, we got some sacks, uh, some tackles for loss. That was positive. Thanks, Coach. Coach, just on your quarterback, say Bryson Daly, I seem to get a lot of work uh, out of the shotgun on passing. And also Dwayne Coleman, I thought, uh, uh, looked pretty smooth at times. There was some good things out of those guys. Again, you know, just managing the game, managing the clock, uh, getting our guys lined up correctly. Uh, we made a lot of errors. And, it, and it, when the game gets going and there's no coaches standing on the field, it's the responsibility of those quarterbacks to make sure that gets right and, and lead that group. And so we've got to get those guys to continue to improve and, and, and really be you know, assertive, aggressive leaders and, and, uh, and get our team to turn more first downs. We just didn't do enough of that today. Talk to Jarrell Williams a little bit. Uh, uh, he was working, it seemed like the referees were working with him on, on the pass interference, uh, one call, and then also a play in the end zone where, uh, where he successfully defended. Well, what is it like for a player to learn how, what you can, how you can play that cornerback position? Well, he's got a great coach. I think Coach Dixon does a terrific job of, of coaching those guys and, and uh, preparing them. Jabril's a great kid. He's certainly meant a lot to our team, making those plays on special teams the last couple of years. And, and now with the graduation of some of those veteran corners, he's finding himself in there with, with opportunities to compete. So, uh, you know, he did have the pass interference play that, you know, sometimes those are just aggressive penalties. They're not, it, it may because of, be because of fundamentals, but they're trying to make a play and they're trying to deny a pass and that happens, but he did make a play to, to back it up. And so I hope he'll continue to improve. We need some depth at that position for sure. I just want to ask about Chance Keith. I thought he made a great catch on the punt. It was against the wind and over the shoulder, and he showed that he can, you know, uh, how, how he can handle a tough punt situation. I didn't know that was Chance catching that ball back there. I, 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 I'm not positive, but um, I was I was on the I was in charge of the kick units today, so I was watching the protection and the coverage of the kick units, and didn't really pay much attention to who was catching it. Uh, so I'll catch that one on film. How would you feel about the field goal kicking today? You had a number of players uh, try field goals. Disappointed that we didn't make more of them. I think we missed four of our first five today. Uh, so you know, a couple of them were long, but uh, we, we hit some of the late ones that are a little bit shorter, but we've certainly got to do a better job of putting the ball through the sticks. Can I ask you about 38, Corey Singleton got the 70-yard run from scrimmage. He did. It was a he, he broke a tackle, and it, it kind of opened up there in the middle for him. Um, so it's good to see him make a long run like that. Um, big picture sense, We're, you know, how do you stand with one week to go? Oh, we got a long way to go. I wish we had four more weeks. Uh, I wish we could never stop practicing. That's how much practice we need. So a lot of improvements need to be made. The fundamental standpoint, effort standpoint, um, toughness, a physical we practice and play and we just we're just a long way away right now Ken but you know, that's why we come out here and hopefully the next three days we've got we'll take them take take advantage of it and do a better job I suppose every spring you have different areas that you have to work on you obviously lost a lot on defense you lost your almost your entire uh, running backfield um, what's it been like trying to piece it all together and giving these kids shots I guess giving as many guys opportunities to uh, to compete as possible, to find out not just who's going to be the starters, but really who are the the group of guys. Because at every position, there are the group of guys that are going to be competing for those jobs, and we don't have to make any determinations on who's going to be the starter this afternoon. Uh, but we're, we're 
getting a pretty good of a, a pretty good idea of who is going to be at the top of the depth chart and have a chance to compete. So, um, you know, continuing to give guys opportunities and and rolling some guys in with with uh, you know the the first units where they get an opportunity to compete against at least the best guys that we have and find out a little bit more about them. I think I missed the start here. Uh, what's the quarterback situation like? How do you feel like they're coming along? Uh, like everybody out here, including the, the myself and the coaches, a lot of improvement needs to be made. Do you like, though, that the, you're getting depth because you, you're running a lot of guys out there? I, I, I do, and, uh, and, I, and I feel good about the group of guys that we've got. I wish Zach Mundell was healthy. He's, he's been out. I uh, thought he you know, started at least in the spring, had, had a good spring to start off with. Uh, but having Bryson back, a guy with some experience, is certainly a positive for us. And I think Dwayne Coleman's done a really nice job and, uh, and, and improved tremendously over the course of the spring. Uh, Kale Helms is a competitor, and I like him. And uh, like I said, Mundell and bringing him along will, will, uh, will, I think, help the depth of that position. I had a chance to talk to Jake Rendina. Your thoughts about him, you know, freshman moving up to sophomore the guy in the backfield. He's a tough guy and he runs the ball hard and he cares a lot and he can win with guys like that. And also Brett Chirino I talked to. Brett uh, obviously he has the heritage here with his dad and he's made great progression from his freshman year to where he's at right now. Just talk about you know Brett's impact on this team. He, he's really improved from a mental standpoint. Well, physically we've always felt like he's he's had the ability to help our team. He's been a big uh, contributor on special teams, limited on defense, uh, just in, in terms of how much he's played. But we anticipate he's going to play a good bit for us this year, and he's earned it. He's worked really, really hard for the mental side of it. Spent a lot of time with Coach Woody, uh, both during the season and the off season. He cares a lot, and uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing his progression over the summer and preseason camp, and and watching him play this fall at linebacker. What do you want to see these final three days next week? I want to see improvements in fundamentals, uh, the, the, the physical nature uh, of, of the way we play, just being more physical. And, and uh, I'm cautious sometimes because I, I want to play a spring game. I want to have everybody hurt, but uh, you know, those two things. And then uh, you know, being better assignment-wise. We've got guys missing assignments and doing foolish things uh, that, that – we have control over it. Doesn't have anything to do with the opponent. Doesn't have anything to do with anything else other than us just doing our job. So, Simon's fundamentals and, and and playing physical and playing tough. We were talking earlier about you had a lot of plays under center, a lot of plays in shotgun today. Are you feeling comfortable with how you plan on using it this year? Oh, I think that's that that's a work in progress right now. It's important that we get snaps and get work at uh, at all of it. And then as we get into the season, more of that determination is going to be based on uh, who we're facing and what we think is going to be the best way to attack that defense. And, but we'll, we'll try to have a package that we'll be prepared each week to be able to do both and, and play out of both sets, and I think we'll be able to accomplish that. You've done this a long time, Jeff. Does this spring feel any different from previous ones? Mm, it's a little cold right now. But... <laughs> Uh, other than that, no, I'm, I'm, I'm usually not very satisfied at this point and, you know, wishing we had more time and knowing we've got to get better and, and that's, that's exactly where we are. Well, let me ask you then, what are you happy with? Uh, that we got another week to practice. <laughs> Coach, uh, Noah Short, I had a chance to talk to him. What do you see him fit, uh, fitting in? Uh, this? Fast. Um, you know, he's done a really, really good job of improving fundamentally. Just little details. Uh, you, you can see when he goes through an individual drill or out here in practice that he is he's very intent about trying to do little things well, and that's helped him improve as a player. But, he, but he's very gifted. He's, he's, he's fast, and, and hopefully we'll find ways to get him the ball in the open field where we can take advantage of that speed. Good.